Hello and welcome back. In this video we'll go over some tips and tricks on how to use a timesheet more efficiently. If you have a lot of rows and want to see more items at once, you can switch to compact mode here. Your team can use both the timesheet and the time tracker at the same time as they share the same data. If you care about start and end times, each member can define when their workday starts in profile settings here. Then if, for example, you put nine, the first entry you create in the timesheet for that day will start at nine and each subsequent start time will be auto incremented. If you don't want your team to use the timer, you can hide the time tracker altogether in settings so your team doesn't get confused about having two places where they can log time. Each user gets their own timesheet when they log in, but if you wish to directly see and edit someone's timesheet, you can click on teammates and select one of your teammates. Then you can see and directly edit someone's timesheet. This is very useful in case someone forgot to log their time and you want to do it for them. Just keep in mind that you as an admin have access to all the projects in the project dropdown. And if you log time on some projects your user doesn't have access to, they won't be able to edit the time you've logged for their name. And lastly, you can also print the timesheet by pressing Ctrl P on your keyboard, or you can go to the weekly report and export the timesheet as a nice PDF. This concludes our timesheet tutorial. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.